in our video, we're going to go through some of the more common features of fusion. So we'll just start with a basic extrusion. To do an extrusion, I first have to have a sketch. So I'll just make a, a simple little circle. And then what I want to do is I'm going to finish the sketch. And then I'm going to go to extrude right here. So I'll click extrude. And then I'm just going to drag the arrow. Now you'll notice as I drag that arrow, there's a number beside it. That's an actual dimension. For right now, we're just trying to get some basics out of the way. I'm calling out that dimension though, because that might come in handy later on. Once I'm done, I can click OK or I can press Enter. The next one I'll talk about is Revolve. So not to have confusion, I'm just going to start a new design. And I'll start a new sketch. And I'll pick a work plane. First thing I always do is I, I create an axis, so something to revolve around. And then I'm going to take my line tool, and I'm just going to create the other half of this shape. And a couple rules we want to follow. We want to close the shape off. Notice how it's all, it turned a light shade of blue now. That means it's closed. There are no openings. From here, I'll hit Finish Sketch. And then I'll go to Create, or I could go right here to Revolve. And then I'll click the, the axis I want to revolve around. So I'll click that vertical line that I started with. And then I press OK. The next one we'll take a look at is Scaling. And since we're already here, we already have a part up, let's just chat about it. It helps if you already know the dimensions. In this case, because this is such a rough drawing, We'll just go ahead and scale. Normally, if you know your scales, though, then you can have an exact scale factor. But what I'll do is I'll go to Modify, and I'm going to go down here to Scale. It pops up, and it says what entity. So I'll come over here and select the part that I'm going to scale. And then it's asking for a scale factor. So I'll just reduce that in half. So I'll say 0.5. And as soon as I do, it scales everything down accordingly. For our next one, we're going to talk about fillets. So I'm in Sketch. I'm going to start a sketch, and I'm just going to pull up a rectangle. And I'll just I'll keep it 3 by 2. After I've created my rectangle, I'll go to the Modify tab, and I can choose Fillet. So I'm going to click this line and this line. I can change that fillet now. So maybe instead of 0.5, maybe I need it to be 0.25. So I can change that. I can continue to go around with fillet. Maybe this one needs to be 0.5. So it's a slightly different fillet than it was over here. I can go back up there again to, to fill it. And then click the two lines that would have the corner. Maybe I'll make this one 0.75. And then for the last one, I will go ahead and fill it these two corners, or these two lines that make the corner, to one. Now I can, I'm going to go ahead and extrude that. I can hit Finish Sketch, or to get to extrude quickly, I can press the E key, and I'll extrude it. I'm just going to bring this out about a half inch, so 0.5. But I actually need a soft edge right here. So I'm going to go up here to the Modify tab. Here's Fillet again, but this is in the Features menu. So I can click that, and then to click the edge, I want to fill it and specify the dimension. So maybe that's 0.25, and now that is filleted as well. So there's two ways to fill it. Most common that I use is usually in the Features menu when I'm rounding off all the edges. For our next one, we're going to talk about Patterns. Patterns can be really helpful. There are a couple ways to do it. You can do that in sketch mode. You can also do it in features mode. First thing I'll do is I'm going to do a circular pattern. So I'm just going to create a circle here. And then inside of that, I'm going to create another circle. So I want this circle here to go all the way around. So I'm going to go to create. And I'm going to say circular pattern. And it's asking me, what object do you want to pattern? So I'm going to say I want this little circle. 
and then it says center point. So I'm going to select that, and then I'm going to select the point that I want it to rotate around. And then from there, you can see right down here, there are numbers. So maybe I need six of those. So it starts at, at three. So now I'm going to put a six in there, and you'll notice it puts six in. The other way to do a circular pattern, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to extrude just this piece here. Then I'm going to slightly rotate this. So I'm going to do the circular pattern in features right now. So it's going to be a slightly different. So from here, I'll go to create, and I'm going to go down to pattern, and I'm going to choose circular. It's asking me what object, so I'm going to click the inside of this hole. That's why I needed it slightly rotated. And for axis, I'll hit select, and I'm just going to click the outside of the big circle. And then from here, again, I want six, so I'll put a six in there, and then I'll press enter, and that's done as well. So the next thing we'll do is we'll do a rectangular pattern. I'm going to go ahead and just draw a rectangle on here. I'm going to make it two inches tall by four inches long. And I'm going to, this time I'm going to pattern a circle again, just to keep it simple. I'll make that 0.25. Then I'm going to go to create, but this time I'm going to choose a rectangular pattern. It's asking what object do I want, so I'm going to click the circle. For directions, I'm going to select this way. And then I'm going to tell it that I want five there. So on that spacing, I'm going to put a three in there so that they're evenly spaced. And then I'm going to select my second direction. So I'll pick this way and move them down here. And I just drag the arrow. Once I do that, I can click OK. I could also change so if I needed more instead of three. So I'll hit OK there, and then I'll extrude it, and I'll just click the body of that shape, and I need to specify a distance. So I'll maybe make it 1, then I can hit OK. And as I rotate that around, see I have some Swiss cheese. You could also do that one in the features environment. The next one we'll take a look at is Sweep. Sweep's a little bit more intense. It's a little bit more on the advanced end of the basic stuff. So I'm going to start with a circle, and what I'm going to do, I'm essentially creating a pipe here. So I'm going to say, I'm going to make that one inch, and then I'm going to hit finish sketch. That is important to do, because now you're going to create another sketch. So to do that, I'm going to expand the origin, and I'm going to find a plane that runs perpendicular to the circle I just drew. So either one of these would work. That one is the same plane, so it won't work. I'll right click on it, and I'm gonna say create sketch. And then from there, I'm gonna take my line tool, and I'm just gonna draw a line. And I'll hit finish sketch when I'm done with that. So you notice I have a circle in one plane and a line in another plane, and that's exactly what we want. I'm gonna go to create, and I'm going to choose Sweep. Now the first thing it's asking is what profile. So I'm going to say I want the circle to be the profile. Then I'm going to click Path, and I'll select the line I drew. And then you notice that it draws that pipe. 